Any questions for Roy? Hey, um, when you were in, yeah, I, you were in Missouri watching this 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 course play out, right? Um, did the how did how did it play out through the media? Like, did it actually change over time? Like, when Madrid was coming in, did it start out positive entry, and then was there some sort of shift at some point that the narrative went went over to being controlled by the people who were within Heiser Bush, or was it all negative, or was it all positive throughout the course of time? It, it, yeah, that was interesting, and and actually. Uh, I'm I'm waiting on a little more data to to give me some some better insight into that because what the the missing piece of data right now uh, is the the private communications between the uh, like the the administration of the university particularly the president of the university uh, and and Ventry I mean these aren't you know protected documents but it's going to take a while to to reassemble all of that discourse yeah at first there was that that sort of euphoria of the economic infusion because frankly. Uh, you know, there, there hasn't been much good news in, in that geographic area for quite some time. Uh, and so there was a great deal of celebration about that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, what started to happen is, is that, you know, the engagement occurred a bit far down the line uh, in the development of the project. And so it was this, this basic model of public engagement being informing the public, right, <laughs> rather than engaging the public. And so, um, the, clearly, the crucial turning point uh, was when uh, we, we shifted from uh, kind of the, the organic farmers and uh, the rumblings of discontent in the legislature uh, to uh, their surrogate being now Anheuser-Busch. Because then that totally eroded uh, any sort of economic driver status uh, that the uh, the bioscience firms and the university had. Now, now I might add, things are looking up for them a little bit because they have gotten a new tenant for uh, the the facility that that they built that they they at least built part of it. They scaled it down, so they do have a new tenant. Not the same kinds of technology, but um, I think I think when you had that uh, tradition uh, of and and strong economic driver. And you know, kind of the, the the big native Missouri company, or well, now Belgian company, right? Uh, that um, that clearly was when things radically shifted, and and you 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 found that the the bird cross contamination that that narrative almost in the same words was being perpetuated everywhere, and nobody was picking up the ornithologists rebuttal of that, uh, which just shows you, you know, probability doesn't necessarily play in Peoria. Mm -hmm. It's a really interesting case study, Roy. You mentioned that there was trouble at the general faculty meeting, but I'd like to hear more about that and whether one of the issues was um, uh, not involving the faculty in decision making and questions of governance and institutional legitimacy and that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, Basically, uh, what happened is the uh, it, it appeared, at least at that stage, that uh, the the um, entrance of that biotech, not just the company but the community, the, the scientific researchers, was going to occur rather rapidly. And so, what was desired was let's already have a, a role that these folks can step into at the university. Okay, let's have that ready by the time they come. And so what, what you had from a, a, an administrative standpoint, and this gets into kind of the uh, you know, nuts and bolts of faculty senate issues, which, and, uh, but uh, what, what basically happened in terms of subverting processes was very interesting because you had these curricular proposals coming in with like you know, no syllabus, no stipulation of textbook, and the justification was, well, this is cutting edge material. And we said, well, if it's so cutting edge, you ought to be able to rattle off the literature like that, right? Uh, and there was intense pressure to speed these things through. And again, it's one of these issues that, you know, the first casualty of the, uh, the excitement about the economics uh, was, in, in this sense, it might be rather mundane, but part of the deliberative process. Thanks, Roy. 